freezing in the garage. I'm gonna do bike for an hour back from Barbados. Editing the video is gonna take a while and I'm probably gonna have to do a two-part series. I don't think I'm gonna make an hour-long video. There's at least two hours worth of footage to go through, so it's probably gonna be a two-part. And now that it's a new year, we're back from vacation. It's my last week of leave, time to start getting into a routine. It's my goal is to lose quite a bit of weight. I decided to do a little dumbbell challenge. Gonna start that officially today. a watch repair i ordered a watch from etsy and the battery needs to be replaced then i'm gonna meet up with john and we're gonna grab lunch at this new zealand restaurant We spent pretty much all day pretty at much. North Park. I ended up finding a spot to battery on my watch replaced. I finally wear it. Ah! It's ready to be Not worn. Nice Turn or light. Since I'm doing this whole New Year's health kick, I figured I'd do a what's in my gym bag video. Now that I'm going back to work, I'm going to create a new schedule for myself, really force myself to stick to a consistent workout routine. Uh, tomorrow's going to be the first day of me going back to work uh, since my leave block. I normally get up at 4, but the gym opens at 5, leave with enough time to make it to work by 7. So that's the goal, that's the plan. Let's get started. <laughs> So this first side pouch has a cute workout towel that I ordered from Amazon. It's so cute and girly and pink. Microfiber shower towel. I normally don't take showers after I work out. I usually just slap on deodorant. I don't sweat that much. Lately, I've been trying to do at least an hour of cardio every day, which I end up so probably going to have to shower before work and ended up getting this as well off Amazon. A Bath & Body Works body spray. This is my favorite scent. A thousand wishes. Okay, now the other side pocket, jawstring laundry bag, a skivvy roll. So after I change out of my gym clothes, I can put on my brown shirt to go with my uniform and black socks, my AirPods, and a lock to lock up my stuff. You can tell it's been used really like these, no key required because I always end up losing a key and losing stuff all the time. Now we're getting into the main portion of the bag of the blender bottle. I only use this for pre-workout. That's the only thing I use it for, so I don't put any protein powder. It's strictly pre-workout and water. Resistant bands that I got from Amazon. These are really awesome for doing a leg workout. I'm also trying to better my form for push-ups. <laughs> so normally I do wide arm push-ups which end up hurting my back but I'm trying to do the proper form. Elbow to rib helps me push back up from going down. These are a shoe bag for shower shoes. I got these from Target. Normally I wear my Crocs but Lily has been chewing on my Crocs. As you can see, I got a long pre-workout in the flavor of mimosa. I've been trying to do at least one hour of cardio and this really helps me power through it. Sometimes I just do cardio. Sometimes I'll do maybe 20-30 minutes of body weight or weightlifting. So this helps me get through my whole workout, which is great. My makeup bag. Got a hairbrush and blush eyeshadow, mascara, a clear lip gloss, and a blush brush, and some hair ties. Yeah, it doesn't really make sense for me to go to the gym with a full face of makeup. I'm just bringing some small stuff to let me get ready after I'm done. And my toiletry bag, contact solution, contact case, a face mist, gel deodorant, a hairband, emergency tampon, Neutrogena face wipes, reusable shower caps. It's 5 a.m. I'm outside the gym. I'm just waiting for the gym 
doors to open since there's people waiting outside to be let in. I'll do my hour long cardio session before I start my first day back at work. Really exciting. I'm surprisingly not as tired as I would be. I'm good and I'm also about to take some pre-workout so I'll be feeling good in about 15 minutes. gym john and i went together this morning it's almost noon so we spent pretty much the whole morning out and about i'm getting ready to just freshen up before i go to probably a starbucks to study for a couple hours once i get my studying done for today i can enjoy the rest of my three-day weekend the most important thing was knocking out a workout today i ended up doing an hour of cardio on the treadmill so i did an incline like a 3.2 speed for the first half hour and then i put the incline down to zero, increased my speed, and just kind of power walked for the rest half hour. And then I finished up with some stretching. I thought about bringing my computer so I can edit, but I, I have a feeling I'll get distracted and I really need to just buckle down and start studying. The idea was to kind of have a coffee day and if I bring my computer, I'm just gonna end up watching YouTube videos, reading random articles, looking at the news. I won't get any studying done. So no computer, just my phone, study material, and hopefully I can camp out for a couple hours. I'm doing at least an hour of editing every day. I feel like with this long weekend, I should get a good chunk of editing done. <music> I will probably never go back to that location again. I just told John this story. I accidentally stole someone's drink when I got there. It took me a while to realize that I did. I went in and I ordered coffee with banana loaf. They called my name out for the banana bread and they placed the banana bread next to another drink so it looked like they were together and I ended up picking up the bread. I checked the label and it said my name, order a two of two and went to my little area and started drinking the coffee and it didn't register that that wasn't the drink that I ordered. So I'm sipping on the drink, I'm eating my banana bread. Ten minutes later, the barista has my name. That's when I realize and I check the label on the coffee cup and I see that it does not say my name and it's a completely different drink. And so I was a little embarrassed and at that point I just decided to pretend that I didn't hear my name and kind of just waited for everything to dissipate. And I feel really, really bad because uh, the order... the the drink that I took was a to-go order. I can hear her asking, where's my drink? <laughs> After I realized that I took her drink, she started asking where hers was. I was already drinking it and they kept calling out my name over and over again. So by the third time that they called my name, I, I was committed. It's too late for me to say anything. I feel bad. The lady, she ended up getting a brand new drink. They ended up calling my name a few more times and they just gave up. A little embarrassing. I will definitely be double checking both labels, but it really was an honest mistake. Yeah, it's never happened to me before and I'm never going back to that Starbucks ever again. I'm really sorry, ma'am, to whoever you are. I'm so sorry I took your drink. It was really good. It happened to be a white mocha with peppermint syrup and all the sugary good stuff. It was really good. Compared to what I ordered, which was a cold brew, that drink that I took was 10 times better. <laughs> but now that I'm home, I am in desperate need of redoing my nails. And these are kind of boring. So I went to the store and I got press-on nails. I'm going to watch YouTube, relax for a bit, and do my press-ons. I just can't decide if I want to do the natural French or these like coffin nail tips. I have not been checking off 
the dates. I'm doing that right now. On day four, which is abs, and John and I are gonna do a four mile walk on the beach, which I've filmed a few times already. And then I'm gonna do abs later today, probably in the garage, or maybe I'll go to the gym and I'll keep my challenge going.